Hey guys, what is up the new cubist here? Welcome to episode 6 of my Minecraft Falling Falling Survival Let's Play. So, in the last episode, uh, we couldn't figure the cow spawner out. I actually figured out it has to have grass under it, so we're gonna let that grow. Um, I'm recording this immediately after recording episode 5, so like, I haven't seen your comments just yet about this, but I assume that they all said, Neo, you need grass, and I uh, have been listening. Well, I haven't listened to those comments yet, it's not uploaded. It's still the same date, it's still the 6th of August. But, that video will be going out today, on the 6th, and then this one should be going out on the, s the, the 8th, I think. I think I'm gonna do a day in between, just because I wanna pace myself on the uploads, I don't wanna get burned out, especially this. This series is like really, really cool. I haven't had this much fun playing Minecraft in a, like, probably like a few months, just because this is new. So we'll have to wait for the grass to come all the way up here, it'll sort of grow into here, and then it'll grow up on these blocks, and then it'll grow up this staircase slowly and then up into here that'll take a good bit it won't happen instantly but I'm trying to make sure there's enough light in here for everything to go smoothly that's why I'm putting a bunch of torches probably more than I need definitely more than I need but I want to make sure just excuse me while I eat these melons I just want to make sure the grass grows those melons are like absurdly loud <laughs> like just comically so but yeah bamboo farm is gonna be super cool just because, ooh, there we go. Yeah, but yeah, bamboo farm equals fuel, and I think you can eat bamboo. No, that's that's kelp. You can eat kelp. But yeah, I wanna go around in the world. I wanted to try to find a spawner, because I heard another cave spider spawner. I'm not sure exactly where it was, but I wanted to go with F5 on and see a good area to dig in. I kinda, kinda wanna start digging in another layer somewhere. I'm not sure exactly where, but I'm thinking like, maybe like right up here. So essentially what this means is I'm just going to break these blocks. I'm gonna hop in here and I'm just gonna start digging it out, I guess. Now I wanna have some slabs, so I'll go ahead and craft a few, but I need to fall like from this high to get into here. Yeah, okay. And then I'm gonna make a little bit of a crafting table and then we'll dig in here real quick, just like this. See, there's already a ton of spawn, not, oh, I don't have a shovel. I need to go get a shovel too, but I wanna put a slab down just to prevent, okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put slab right here, and then I'm going to put slab right here. And then when blocks fall on this right here, they'll just disappear, which is perfect. I won't be able to fall all the way down anymore, but it's not that high up, so it won't really take too much time away from us. But I wanted to start digging around in there, just to see what we can find, maybe another spawner or something. Especially while I'm just sort of waiting on this to go. And then another uh, sort of thing I want, I'm trying to wait for, and trying to gather is sand, so that we can go all the way around this thing. And I'll show you what I'm doing. I mean, you guys can kind of already see it. I've kind of started it, but essentially what I'm gonna do is go around this entire thing with glass. Now, at some point, I'm going to add blocks ab above and below, like on this block right here and this block, just so that it looks a little bit better, because right now, I mean, honestly, it just looks a little, it looks a little weird, right? Because there's, it just looks, I don't know. But I wanna make the floor block in here, probably grass. I don't really know. Maybe hope to get some uh, passive mob spawns. I guess we'll just have to sort of see what happens. But at some point, this world is gonna look really cool. I say at some point, I'm gonna be working towards it every episode, right? But, okay, yeah, placing pains is like a pain. Pun fully, fully intended. It really is a pain. I'm not sure why they made it so hard. I guess because the hitbox is so tiny, but it always does take a good bit to place things. Alright, so we only got 12 more. I just didn't want to waste too much of the episode just placing glass panes. Uh, but yeah, we should get a bunch more sand, a bunch more coal, and then with that, we will be able to make more and more stuff. And we have a bunch of saplings, which is really good. I'm happy about getting a bunch of saplings. I just want to have a steady supply of wood. I'm aware that most of these blocks won't be able to grow trees, like these ones right here. I guess I could break out this little area. But yeah, another thing I want to do in this episode is try to get to the nether, but like, again, I mean, that that's one of those goals where I don't know how rare those blocks will be. I do see one on the ground, so we'll get this. This will be the second one. We need 10 for the most efficient form of mob spawner, so hopefully when we dig out this area, we had to break like three or four with a pickaxe that wasn't even able to collect them. But like running around here, I don't see too much, I don't see any more obsidian really at all. It is weird having a floor made of just kind of random materials. It definitely is a little bit weird. But we definitely have enough wood now to get a chest. I know I've said the word definitely like 80 times. I'm not sure why. Some days I just say words more than others. I think we all have those sorts of days. But I want to have a wood chest. Now at some point I'd like to move all this stuff over. You know what? We'll go ahead and make this look a little bit better. 
Oh, this is gonna be this is gonna be fun. So this will be the dirt chest. I need to have a clean inventory first. So let me go ahead and sort all this stuff out. And just because when I start breaking these blocks, things are gonna get crazy if my inventory is not sorted. Because I'm gonna have to remember like where everything goes. Obviously, it won't go into my inventory looking like that, but it'll be a little bit better. I want to have a wood chest. And then these are block block. And then this is dirt and stuff. And then we'll go ahead and put our tools into this chest and our torches. And then that's plant materials. This is a rare material-ish. It's funny that these things are considered rare materials just because like in reality, they're not that rare. But in this, they're like the rarest thing ever. And then we obviously need an ax. Okay. Where'd I put my chest? Oh, I only crafted three chests, I guess. And so like this chest, oh, great. okay. I'm gonna go ahead and break this one. And this is, so hopefully, yeah, our inventory is big enough. So we're gonna transfer all this stuff, which is like the materials that fall why is there granite in there i don't know granite is supposed to be in here so we're going to break this Ugh. and then yeah so luckily we did this before we had like full chests and it's good because they don't connect i was just worried that it would connect for some reason but I don't, I don't know why i thought that i don't know i've played minecraft so much you'd think i just sort of know these things all right and this will be the rare chest Sort of. It has a bunch of weird stuff in it, but we'll, we'll, we'll make it better, guys. We'll make it better. Okay, let me sort this. Okay, so now I want to have a wood chest. All these chests are being used except this one, so we'll make this one into our wood chest. And then we'll put, like, old tools in it and stuff like that. Um, obviously, the iron isn't really old. We need to put the iron in here, too. And then the bucket, that'll go in the tools chest. But, yeah, I just wanted to make sure that our inventory wasn't going to get too crazy or too big before it got too crazy because it's kind of a point of no return on those sorts of things where it's like the it's just gotten so crazy it's like sorting it just becomes this huge hassle and you like don't want to do it i didn't want it to get to that point so i'm glad i did this now where's my diamond pickaxe okay we can think it's safe to grab this there is that barrel there i will be moving that too but let me just break all this stuff for now and we'll make this look a whole lot better at some point i just don't have enough of any one block aside from like stone brick to uh, turn this into something like that has one solid floor material and I also need to craft some more torches which I put these in here so no this is not the most exciting episode but there has to be these sorts of episodes to make room for the exciting episodes just because there's a lot of stuff you have to do in a world that you know it isn't always just fun and games right and I'm trying to show the whole thing I know a lot of youtubers okay see that won't work I know a lot of youtubers skip around and they just sort of you know but I don't want to do that I want to I want to give you guys the full experience and some of you may not like that and I do apologize but that's just the sort of youtuber I am I know a lot of you just found me from uh, this series because it like it's blowing up and I don't know why I guess because it's unique but I spooky I try not to show too much boring stuff but like this kind of stuff I have to show I feel like I have to show it because it's part of what I'm going through too and like it's not it's not always fun is what I'm trying to say I mean this is fun for me I like getting an inventory sorted because used to my worlds were always a little bit crazy <laughs> just a little bit and then we'll, we'll find a place for the furnaces I think an appropriate place for them since I have all this bamboo here and I don't necessarily want it right right here um, it's always good to put furnaces under stairs because you already have the stairs there and like look I'll show you what I mean we can fit them pretty perfectly like this grab that stair yeah see and then we just have one more furnace and we can just go ahead and put it right there and now we got stacks of furnaces and that looks a whole heck of a lot better than it did before let me tell you oh man because I had these chests in the middle that was my original this was my original like base you see I, I tried to collect a bunch of one block and put them there it kind of worked kind of didn't work I mean it, it worked okay I guess but I think it was time to move on from that and I do have a good bit of these Okay, so let me go ahead and place these. That's something I will do off camera. Oh, we have more. Ooh, we got the perfect amount. Hopefully that, no, that won't be enough to finish it, but we should be getting pretty dang close, which means we'll get enough sand this episode to finish that. We won't get enough of any one block though, unfortunately, to like put as the floor material in here, but I want it to be, actually, you know what? We may, ooh, we may get to that in this episode. This episode may not be boring after all. We may turn this entire thing into grass. So we'll see, we'll see. I'm getting kind of excited now. <laughs> I'm just like thinking about the possibilities. We may have to go get the sand though before we do that. And the reason I'm getting excited about that is because, well, number one, we have a ton of dirt. So I don't think we have to worry about that. Like we have an absolute ton of dirt. Let me place these. 
If you want to torture me for eternity, just make me place a bunch of glass panes. But we're really close. We just need a few more blocks of sand. And uh, luckily, you know, remember <laughs> before we got distracted and like redid our house a little bit, we were going to go in here and we're going to mine out some area. I still plan on doing that. So I need to eat a little bit, hold some torches in my hand, eat a little bit. And then we're just going to go into here. Oh, 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 okay. <laughs> Why is that not working right? Okay. And we're going to go into here. We're just going to start digging. Uh, I'm just going to dig another one of these three layers out. I don't know what I'll use this area for, but basically I'm just digging this out because I want to I want to have more blocks of all kinds. I want to try to find some obsidian. I want to try to find some sand, but it's like strip mining, except you know that like there could be diamond anywhere. There could be iron anywhere. It's really a lot of fun. Like I know it seems weird, but like when you mine in an area where things are truly just random, it's kind of, there, there's like that excitement factor. It's not like typical mining where you know, oh, well, there can't even be diamonds here, so I'm just mining to get coal or whatever. But it's not like that here. God, there's so many, there's so many blocks that fall, and I hear a cow. Wait, I hear a cow. What? See, that's what I mean. Like, I don't know what, I hear a bat, too. So maybe there's like a cave in here? Not, not a traditional cave. You hear that? I swear, I, d I know I heard a cow, like, 100%. So I don't know what that... Oh, I don't want to put dirt down. I don't know what it was, truly. And I know there was lapis there, but we already have so much. And, like, nothing to do with that lapis. I will be getting coal, stuff like that. Coal, iron, uh, your basic materials. I need more of those. And I'm digging over towards this bat, because I hear a bat. Which means there's a dark space somewhere around here. Where is that bat? I feel like it's right above us. No? I have no idea. <laughs> this map is literally so insane. Like, I have no idea what on earth this map is. Or what, like, what... Like, you know what I mean? Like, it's just crazy. This map is literally insane. And I know it sounds like I'm just saying buzzwords. But I'm not. Like, this map literally is kind of insane. So is this the kind of... Will this give me water? Good. I already have infinite water, but I kept, you guys kept saying, oh, it, like you were making comments, like you were saying, uh, like Neo is like looking at a block of ice and he's like, oh, there's no water in this map, but compact ice doesn't give you water. And then normal ice does give you water. I don't encounter either of those blocks very often, so no, I don't, I didn't even know the difference between them really. I didn't know one gave you water and one didn't. I just thought that compact ice could be in any biome. I think, I think... I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea. But yeah, I'm basically just going to dig this out. Hopefully we find something pretty cool. I'm going to dig a little bit off camera, and then once we encounter something like super, super dope, I'll just be sure to uh, come back on the camera to show you. I hear a spawner, and I also heard a cow. But like, again, I don't know what that stuff means. Like, maybe there's a random cow in here? or Because our, our cow spawner is too far away to here. So I guess that means that there's there has to be something something over in this direction see I just heard it I heard the heck the cow just huff again I assume that's what it means like look, like when they go Whew. is that huffing is the cow huffing I don't know no idea but yeah when I come back uh, hopefully I'll be looking at something pretty interesting see I hear a bunch of spiders and the creator of the map said that if you start to hear uh, or if you find a cave spider spawner that means that there's going to be a barrel near it, which means there could be some really good loot. But, like, I already found one barrel. Oh, what is this? No, see, our, okay, I remember the cave spider spawner was somewhere, like, it was somewhere really close, wasn't it? Because I, I, this is the staircase that I used to get up and down. And I don't remember if, I, rem I feel like the cave spider spawner was pretty close to this. Was it? No, because that's where our cows are. I don't know. Here, we'll dig around around here a little bit and try to find it. But, okay, there's the bat. Okay, you gotta stop making noises, dude. You're just too loud. Are they getting louder or quieter? I can't tell. <laughs> I'm just gonna keep digging. Well, I'm digging, and I did find a really, really big hole. Like, <laughs> it's really, really big. As you guys can see, there's a grass block down there. Or no, that is it a berry bush? Oh! <gasps> Is it a berry bush? Yes, a berry bush. Okay. So normally I hate berry bushes just because they're like, I don't know, they just hurt you and it's like, I don't want to be hurt by my food. But 
I guess they're kind of rare. Does that go all the way up to the top? I honestly don't know. This map is so crazy. I'll just be digging around in here. Like, I don't understand. But yeah, I'd like to try to see if I can get one of them cool, uh, I don't know. I just want to try to find something pretty soon that's interesting. I've been digging for a little bit, as you guys can see. Not a whole lot, but my shovel's about to break. And, like, that's that's not good, because I need my shovel. Because a lot of these blocks are, like, gravel or sand. Or not gravel or sand, gravel or dirt. And I really wish I could find more sand. That's what I was going to try to say. I do have 20 blocks of sand, and while that may be enough to finish it, I'm not entirely sure. But every time I find sand like that... Oh my gosh, there's a ton of sand. I'm like, yeah, I'm looking for sand. I can't find any. And it's just it's like just 20 blocks. Okay, that's sandstone. See, sandstone and sand, they look the same. We need to start a petition. We need to get them both changed. See, that's that's normalized. It's going to give us water. Okay. I'm just trying to make sure I got it right because I feel like I have at this point. Okay. 25 sand. And we've dug a pretty good hole in here. I wish I would have got that sapling. I would have loved to have had acacia wood. The only kind of wood I have is dark oak, and I don't have enough saplings to grow it yet, but I have some dark oak saplings, which you guys said that, I, oh, Neo, you got three saplings in the chest. You're saying you don't have any saplings. Well, dark oak, you need four to grow, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, I'm really stupid. There's a ton of sand in here. Okay, well, we'll go smelt this, and then hopefully, um, yeah, 28 sand should be pretty good. We got four iron, so that's kind of nice. Let's go down here. Let's start smelting the sand. We have five coal, so we should be good. Oh, look at those trees. Look at those. Woo, we're getting tons of wood. See, this world's getting better and better and better. We just gotta keep playing it. Okay, so each one does four. That's four, 16, 24. And then we'll just leave the rest up to chance. Actually, you know what? There's one more in there. We'll do 16, okay. I wanna make it faster, but I also don't want it to be too inefficient. Eh. That may be a little bit inefficient. I don't know. We'll sort of let it go. We have a ton of melons. We got a ton of wheat. <laughs> These trees are absolutely insane. It's nice that they grow. You just have to have that big area above them, I guess. Oh, that's a big tree. Look. You can see because the log's sideways. Not bad. That's not bad at all. I'm really happy we're making progress in this because for the longest time that we just had, there was nothing. It was just a barren field of random blocks. But yeah, I'm going to start to dig out the floor in here. And then, ooh, that bamboo, grew, wow, you grew really quick, dude. <laughs> you need to chill. You need to chill. But yeah, if we just put sort of random blocks of bamboo, I feel like that'll add a lot of texture to the world just because it's all one, it's like solid block right now and it kind of looks bad, maybe a little bit. I don't know, we'll just put bamboo around here sort of haphazardly. But yeah, I'm gonna start the construction or deconstruction of the floor and uh, we're gonna turn this all into grass. I mean, we don't have grass blocks, but we have the next best thing, dirt and already grass. So I'm gonna go around here. I'm just gonna dig out everything that isn't dirt. I need another shovel, preferably iron. So we'll go ahead and we'll just smelt this stuff up. Do we have any? No, but I can do it like this. Okay, we'll smelt this iron up and I need to sort my inventory a little bit. We have so much wood now. Ah, uh, feels good, feels good. Okay, what else? Okay, this is, these are solid blocks, okay. This, and then we need, that's not, <laughs> I mean, it looks kind of like dirt. We have snowberries too, so we'll go ahead and grow these, like, right there. They're so annoying. I honestly hate them, but it's, it's another source of food, and at the beginning of the series, we had absolutely no food, so I'm not going to shy away from it. We see, we should have enough dirt to fill it in, but if not, I mean, honestly, dirt is so common up there, like, up there being, like, up there that I think we'll be okay and not like up on the ceiling I just met this entire thing but as we're playing I bet the world is getting pretty close to getting to the very very top so that should be interesting because whenever we choose what will red sand smelt into red sandstone hmm. I feel like I should find out and these chests where's my plant chest oh <laughs> it's not a chest all right what are the rare stuff okay Sorry, it's just for some reason when I'm talking and playing, it makes it like impossible to sort my inventory. As you guys saw, I was just sitting there just straight struggling the whole time. Okay, so we got 16 glass here, 12 glass here. Is that enough to finish it? Okay, 64 panes. We'll find out real quick because there's not that much more work that needs to be done. Right here, we'll sort of figure that out as we go. But there, yeah, 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 this will be enough. Okay, cool. So we'll finally have, and then we gotta break this. We'll finally have, okay, so this is done. It just can't see the blocks, but I promise they're there. <laughs> we'll finally have this done, which means our world is on a whole nother level, right? I mean, not really. 
but it looks a lot better than it did. It looked a little funky before just because it didn't have anything really in it. Ah, <sighs> cool. So we've completed the glass wall around our entire base. Ooh, that makes me so happy. Okay, well, we're gonna make a pickaxe, which I need a little, okay, come on. <laughs> <laughs> Where is my wood chest? I open literally every chest but the one chest containing wood. Uh, that's just... Uh, Neo. I don't know. I don't know how to explain it, but when you talk and you're playing, it just makes it, like, immeasurably harder to, like, do anything. Which I know, like, I mean, th that's part of the reason, like, comment and not everyone can commentate, and, like, live commentate at least. Um, I understand why people have trouble with it. <laughs> I do. Believe me, I still struggle with it. Even after doing this for six years, like, it's not... It's not a natural thing in any way. You have to sort of force your brain to like just stop thinking. Cause you know when you're on default and you're just sort of think, like, not on default, like default Minecraft text, no. That's not what I mean. Uh, but when you're just sort of, I don't know, playing a game, you're not really thinking about what you're doing. You're just kind of playing the game. And while you're doing this, it's like the complete opposite. And I need a little bit of dirt on me just to do this at least. I do know where the dirt is now, <laughs> thankfully. Uh, but yeah, I'll do a little bit of this on camera and then I'll do most of it off camera just because this is going to take a while. Mainly because there's just such a plethora of different block types that when you start to break things you just realize that like... And I'm pretty sure that under here somewhere is where the end portal is. I don't remember exactly, but I was reading like someone's like review of it or something somewhere. And they said that the end portal was in the same spot in the map every time. Although the blocks are random, like the spots for those things aren't. And yeah, this outer rim, which some of it's dirt, I want to change into like one type of wood. Uh, what type of wood? I'm not sure, but something like that. But yeah, you guys just watch me do a little bit of it. I'm going to do the rest of it. Not the rest of it, but a good bit of it more off camera. So yeah, I'll be back and we should have a good bit more of this area filled in with dirt. And then eventually it'll grow and we'll have grass. That was my chair squeaking. Listen, how do I do it? I don't know. I have a leather chair now and it like squeaks. I don't know how to make it. Okay, I'm done. Okay, so now this section is done and uh, we just have to fill it in with dirt. So what I'm going to do, I guess, is just do it like that where I just sort of fill in or I break all the blocks and then I come back on camera to fill them in because that's like the most exciting part. Maybe. I'm not sure. I mean, I think it's pretty fun to watch. I don't know. It's hard to determine what's fun to watch when you're like the one doing it. Uh, but yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed episode 6. I'm going to finish it off um, just by finishing this whole area, filling it in with dirt. And then, or I'm not going to finish it like right here, but once I get the entire thing filled in with dirt, which, you know, it won't be that much longer. We just have to do this one little section over here. And then once that's done, we will uh, end the episode. But yeah, hopefully you guys are enjoying the series. Let me know what you want to see me do. Obviously, I'm going to try to do everything that you do in a normal Minecraft world, like go to the end enchant defeat all the bosses the the, <laughs> the bosses might be interesting i'm not sure about the end dragon either like again i don't know much about this uh series aside from what i've played or much about this map aside from what i've played and uh what people tell me in the comments because some people have downloaded it and they're testing things and i love that because it also helps me make a better series for you guys uh, but yeah, it's been pretty fun so far. I'm really really enjoying this I'm excited to play it again whenever I record this again. Like I genuinely am. I'm still I'm, I'm excited to record pretty much anything. I love recording uh, Now playing Minecraft on my like just just kind of and not playing anything like just sort of playing it to play it uh, You know, I still enjoy it somewhat, but it's definitely a lot more fun to record a lot of people ask me How do you have so much fun with Minecraft after playing for nine years? And I think the biggest part of it is recording, right? If you were recording for a YouTube channel, I don't know. It's just kind of fun. Just because every ooh iron, just because everyone gets to see what you're doing, I guess. And it's like I like I like when people watch me play games, even in real life. My girlfriend knows that. She could probably hear me. She's like, "Yep." Uh, but no, I mean I love when people watch me. So doing a YouTube channel is that times like a million. I mean, it's not live, but that's why I like live streaming too. And by the way, I'm going to plug myself in my own video. If you don't have post notifications on, make sure that you turn those on because when I do live stream, you'll have no way of knowing when I'm live streaming if you don't have them on. And uh, well, I mean, if you want to know if I'm live streaming, do it. If you don't really care, then don't do it. But if you really, really want to see me live stream, then make sure they're on. Otherwise, it just YouTube, uh, you have to be on YouTube really to figure it out. 
because they won't like tell you anything. I know I said I'd just like break this and go off camera, but I started talking on a tangent and now I can't quit. Ooh, red sandstone. But yeah, there's tons and tons and tons of stuff we can do. I mean, it's just like a normal Minecraft world. The only restraint being is it's not infinite, but it's a really big size world. I don't think I, you could ever fill up 256 blocks high, 25 by 25. Can anyone tell me how many blocks that is? Just multiply 25 by 25 by 256 and let me know. what. You know what? We're going to ask Siri. Can we ask Siri? What's 25 times 25 times 256? Is 160, so yeah, 160,000 blocks. <laughs> Ask Siri. Siri, feature or like we'll do episode six of the Minecraft Falling Falling custom map featuring Siri. No, but 160,000 blocks. I think that's what she said. That's a lot of blocks. I don't think we could ever fill it up with like enough stuff. Obviously, I want to have like animal farms, mob farms, all the fun stuff. I'd love to get mending. <laughs> we all know how that goes. Maybe we'll, we will make an AFK fish farm at some point. Um, only issue is it has to have direct sunlight, so that means digging 256 blocks upwards <laughs> at any one point. So making an AFK fish farm, is it going to be a different challenge on this world just because of how big the world is? But I don't want to do that right off the bat because I feel like that's kind of a something you want to save for yourself just because... And it kind of makes the game feel a little bit cheapy, a little bit, I don't know, I don't know, but I know only Java people can do it too, which makes it also another thing that is a little bit cheap, but yeah. Okay, one more block and then we're done. Cool. <laughs> so we got this finally turned into one block, I'm really having fun with this. Uh, but thank you guys for watching episode 6, I really do hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you guys want to see more of my videos in the future, be sure to click that subscribe button so you're notified when I upload. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so so much for watching, if you want to download the map for yourself, you can, but only on the Java version of Minecraft. It is not out in any way for uh, Pocket Edition, don't get scammed out there, there might be some viruses or something, I don't really think there's a way to do this in Pocket Edition or on Xbox or anything like that, but at some point I'm sure maybe the map creator will do a version for it. I don't even know if data packs work like that, I, I honestly, like, I'm at a loss there, I don't know, like personally I have no clue. Uh, but if they ever release it, you'll be sure to uh, know. I'll maybe do a video on it or something. I don't have bedrock. Oh, actually, I do have bedrock. Technically, I have the Windows 10 version of Minecraft, so we could do it like that. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in Episode 7 in a tutorial or in uh, any other video content that I do on Minecraft. You'll just have to see. But yeah, thank you guys for being subscribed to the channel who are. Thank you guys who are new to the channel for choosing to watch my video. And I hope everyone has a wonderful rest of your day or night. I'll see you guys later. Bye.